and bronze medalist Walter Dix. His best is 988. He's going to have to get under 10 if he wants to make this team. Lane two is Darvis Patton. So experienced. He has been in the Olympics and the Olympic final before, but not a given that he makes this team. As the oldest guy in this field, he's going to have to throw back to his youth and summon something great. 34 years old, Justin Gatlin, who is uh, 30, is in lane three. And the way he's been starting, Tom, I think he is a big favorite here, even with the presence of Tyson Gay. Undefeated this year and talking about wanting to go to London and face the Jamaican Spurs. In lane four is Mike Rogers. And Mike Rogers has made U.S. teams before. He likes this track. He's run 9.85. That's his personal best on this track. But he has really have to, has to have a great start because he's not going to be able to run anyone down from behind. His start determines if he makes this team. Tyson Gay in lane five. And when you don't have that many bullets left in the chamber, you got to select when you shoot them. And Tyson Gay has to shoot one here today because these young men are gunning for these spots. I don't think he's going to be too concerned about Gatlin. He's going to be concerned about getting in the top three and having some time to rehab and get ready for London if he makes a team. Lane six is Jeff Dems. And Tom, as you know, he gave up his football career to become a professional sprinter. I talked a lot to his coach, Mike Holloway. They believe this is the right decision, but I'm sure that decision will be weighed based on if he's able to get top three here in this final. Terrell Kimmins is in lane seven. Terrell Kimmins has always been a fantastic starter. His focus has to be the final 50 because he's always out well, but he has to relax when the pressure starts and the fatigue starts in the latter half of this race. And with his leg wrapped, Walter Dix is in lane eight. And Tom, his coach, John Smith, said that they had a mutual decision on this, and he said, Walter said, I'm a warrior, let me go out there. So this is a decision that was made by both Dix and his coach to allow him to run, but he is definitely in trouble in terms of being with that, wrap, that leg wrapped. It's tough to come out and face some of the fastest men in the world with two good legs, let alone one. So Gallon and Gabe will be separated by probably one of the best starters in the world, Mike Rogers. I expect to see all the action right in those lanes, three, four, and five. And 
What about Tyson Gay uh, uh, as you head to London now? You said he didn't have to win because he just needs more time to get ready for London and peak then. Does this follow that formula? Well, it certainly bodes well for his chances because for Tyson Gay to run 9.86 in this, his just his fourth race in a year, it really says a lot about his preparation. But Justin Gatlin still unbeaten this year, and the U.S. team is with Lewis.